Hello everyone! Welcome to the Story Box, where you can find stories from all around the world. I'm Z, and today I have only one thing to say about this story. I hope you like porridge! The Porridge Pots There was once a poor but good little girl who lived alone with her mother. They were so poor that one day they had nothing left to eat. So the little girl went out to the forest to see what she could find. There she met a wrinkled old woman who was trying to carry a bundle of firewood. The little girl quickly rushed to help her and carried the bundle all the way to the old woman's house. When she had finished, the old woman thanked her and gave her a little pot and told her that whenever she was hungry, she should say to the little pots, Cook little pots, and the pot would cook fine steaming porridge. And when there was enough porridge, she was to say, Enough little pots, and the pot would stop cooking. So the little girl took the pot home to her mother. When she got home, she said the words, Cook little pots. And the pot cooked the most delicious porridge that they had ever tasted. And so the little girl and her mother were not hungry any longer, but ate fine hot porridge as often as they wanted. One day, when the little girl had gone out, her mother decided that she wanted some porridge. So she took the little pots and said, Cook little pots. And the pot cooked the most scrumptious porridge, and she had plenty to eat. But she had forgotten the words to stop the pot. And so the pot continued to cook on and on until porridge started overflowing from the pot. The little girl's mother tried to remember the words, but she just couldn't. And so the little pot cooked on and on until it had overflowed. Steaming porridge filled the whole kitchen. And then the whole house, then the house next door, and then the whole street until it looked like the whole world was going to be filled with porridge. No one knew what to do, and everyone was hysterical. Porridge flowed through every single person's house, until there was only one house left that was still clear of porridge. Just then, the little girl came back to the town and said, Enough little pots! And the pot stopped cooking. But now the whole town was filled with porridge, and anyone who wanted to go there had to eat his way through. And that was the story of the porridge pots. Phew! Thank goodness the little girl came in time. I hope you liked the story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so we can bring you more stories from all around the world. Until next time, bye!